Good morning, it's Gwen with Crafty Lady Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I've got a small flip through here of a one signature soft cover a junk journal. I um, I made a book, uh, a junk journal that I had made four signatures for, and I think I did a, uh, I think I did a, a flip through on it, and uh, I made a mistake. When I put it together, I put in three signatures instead of four, so I had the four signature. So I made a soft cover little one signature journal. This is Tim Holtz paper, not paper, it's cardstock. And on the front, and it's hard to show my lighting, I apologize. Uh, it's a bird, and I, it's either Sedani Rose or Artie Maze, I, I'm not really sure. And then I've sewed lace down the side with flat back, uh, flat back pearls. And um, then across the bottom, a little flag piece of paper that matches the backing of the bird. I've secured it with, uh, let me get a little closer here. Uh, I have secured it with uh, baby blue, light blue, and cream colored um, seam binding. I can't talk today. So let's open it up and go inside. It's going to do a fast, fast flip through. I'm going to have this off of this. I may make some more of these little single uh, junk journals uh, or inserts that you could use. So open it up and on the inside, oh, on the inside there is a pocket on the front uh, that um, let me bring us in a little bit. I've got a new setup. There we go. I'm sorry. Here is the, let's do the front again because there we go. There's the pearls and the lace down the side. Uh, and then when you open it up, whoops, <laughs> when you open it up, there's a pocket on the front. Now, on the, uh, the in the pocket, uh, this is the inside cover. Uh, there is a little sack. This is a sack that I got at um, Hobby Lobby. It's just a small sack. Now, these uh, covered sacks was inspired by Wendy, and this was inspired by Wendy. I watch Wendy a lot, Wendy's uh, Journal Adventure. And so this little paper bag that I embellished, just put a piece of Tim Holtz's cardstock on it, stamped across the top, and I took some muslin and I ripped, tore about an inch, uh, inch and a quarter strip, long strip, clear down the width of it. And then I decorative stitched across the top and I had already copy dyed uh, the, the muslin. And then just added this on as a, a little decor. So this fits on the inside pocket. Now this this is just a little fold uh, pocket that was inspired by Wendy as well. Uh, this is called a button string closure. These are used on policy envelopes. They have been since the beginning of time. But this this the way with the grommet and the one what it was inspired by Wendy. However, I've always made policy envelopes and I'm going to do a demo on how I make the button string closures. There are several ways, and it's been shown several ways on YouTube, uh, but I do it a little bit different that I think is faster, easier, and you don't have to deal with brads and the legs and on and on. Uh, so this um, opens like so, and you open this up, and it's a pocket, and inside the pocket is a uh, uh, Edith uh, Holden a piece of, uh, a piece of her, out of her book, and it's got a, a, a tab on the top that says friends. And then the saying says collect beautiful moments. And it fits down in our little pocket. This is the third time I've made this video. <laughs> well, the first time I messed up. And the second time was okay. And I accidentally blew it away. What can I say? Here comes my puppy to join us. Hello, Molly. You going to come and join us, sweetheart? Now this fits in. He can't get in and he's going to have to stay out. Okay, that fits in. Now the first page is the uh, doily with the uh, uh, calligraphy paper. I buy this calligraphy paper in the arts department at Hobby Lobby. I, uh, in the center of it, punched out a uh, Martha Stewart uh, punch. This is just a little, uh, this is the end of the map page that I cut down for something and I used it. This is a tag, of course, with a uh, stencil on the back of the rose. And this is stencil. This is a Tim Holtz uh, Flourish 
stencil. It's not complete and it's not supposed to be. Uh, this paper, I love this paper, and I've shown this before, uh, was a really, it was a roll of paper in the sale bin of either Hobby, and I think it was Hobby Lobby, and it's, it was very thin. Excuse me a minute while I let in my puppy because he is going to create. He is completely locked in. Here, baby, there you go. I'm sorry, but he would have completely disturbed the video. Okay. Uh, the paper was thin, and I uh, uh, covered a whole half sheet of uh, a file. I took a file folder, cut it in half, covered the whole thing with the paper, and then uh, cut it in tags. This is another tag that I glued on top and, and added the string. So this fits down in our little pocket. Okay, we're going to open this. Next page is stenciling. I've done a lot of stenciling in there. Again, I've, I've uh, punched Martha Stewart's punch. This is a piece of French book page, and there was a little opening there where the there was, so I just used a stamp that I had. This is a stamp that I made out of corrugated uh, cardboard to stamp for uh, journaling, but I've also uh, stenciled the rose on top of it. This is a piece of uh, uh, ledger. Uh, paper, and this is the beginning of another piece of uh, coffee dyed paper. Now I've I've folded this up for a tag, I mean for a pocket, and then I've stapled it with brass staples. I was watching Mike Dietrich what, from England, can't think of his name, and he was stapling, and he used brass staplers. Well, I like them much better than the the silver, so I ordered them from Amazon, and I absolutely love them. This is another one of the pockets that was inspired by Wendy, and this is the larger size pocket, uh, or pay, uh, not pocket, it's a, a little bag, a little paper bag. This is larger than the one on front, I believe. Uh, I've uh, embellished it with the French uh, book page with a, uh, uh, oh. Edith. Edith's book. <laughs> My mind is gone. I'm sorry. Edith Holden's. Uh, I, I tore this out. This is one of her one of her out of one of her books. And then this is just a piece of fabric uh, that was gifted to me that I've torn. And then it also has lace that's sewn down the side. This is my. Um, my Tiffany stamp that I put on some. Uh, there again, I take I take file folders and I cut them in the size of, of tags, and then it's just a uh, stencil on the back. And this is uh, the tag or the topper is that fabric that was gifted to me a long time ago, and I just ripped it uh, down the side. And that's the same thing that's sewn on here. And this just gets down in our sack, our little paper sack. I am going to do a demo here, and maybe this afternoon. Uh, this is the center of our signature, and this is uh, Tim Holtz's, uh, they no longer make this paper, and I bought everything I could find, I'm running out of it, but it, they indicate, they have on the package that it's um, glassine, and it is different, but it's not the glassine, the thin, white, clear, whatever, that we're used to, but it is a little different, it has a different texture. And there again, I punched along the edge with a Martha Stewart punch. Uh, this is, again, stenciled. This is punched. Uh, this is the other side of the um, ledger uh, paper. Uh, and I have an Edith uh, Holden uh, bird nest that I cut out and put on top of the stencil. And this, again, is the uh, stamped for for uh, writing. This is the back side of uh, the French uh, book page and there again there was a, a gap and I stamped on that. This is another little pocket with some scraps uh, and this is uh, this is a tag that I made uh, and I've shown this before. There again I took a uh, uh, file folder, cut it in half. This is Tim Holtz's new tissue 
paper on a roll. There's the birds and there's flowers. I have both. This is the birds. I covered the whole uh, piece of uh, file folder with, uh, I think I used Mod Podge uh, or some kind of like that. Put it down and I also, it, it's kind of shiny, you can see. I uh, also Mod Podge it on top and then let it dry and cut it and tag uh, and tags and then I put a grommet inside. Absolutely love it. So it fits down in our little pocket. This is just another little tag that I had in my stash and then I I put the book belongs to. So that fits down in there. Okay, this is a Rita Donnelly flip uh, on the corner. This is just a piece of scrap that I just cut into a tag. Uh, this is just a piece of embellishment that was on my desk, quite frankly, that I just stuck in here. Uh, and then this is just a little book. This is an Edith Holden uh, piece of her book. Uh, with the with the bees and on the inside now I stamped this and this but this and this are digital stamps I've just kind of gotten into the digital stamps and it says different roads I gotta turn it I'm sorry different roads often lead to beautiful destinations and the uh, uh, author was unknown on the back it's just got my insignia so this little book fits down in here as well. Let's see if it's back here. There we go. There again, there's a, I did a lot of stenciling. And the back page of the uh, calligraphy paper. The back has a pocket like the front. Now this is a book that I made. Um, it has the uh, French book page on the front. It also has the uh, decorative uh, strips that I made and then it just has a box flower on, on here. Now this is a book it's hand sewn with a three hand a three hole uh, uh, pamphlet stitch this book belongs to. Now this is just text out of a book there's your center out of a book and there is the back just stamped I um, you could add you could use this as a photo book and, and put photos on top because it doesn't it's not much right. I just thought it was a cute, cute little book and it fits down in our pocket. I'm trying to get used to my new deal here. And the back, here again, the back is just fine. So there we have it. Um, it's just a cute little book. I'm gonna add this to my uh, little consignment area on uh, crafted on uh, copied on paper.com which is a consignment area that is supported and started by Kathy Orta King um, <clears throat> all of the cost of my items I've got about four or five books on there and if you go on uh, uh, copied on uh, captured on paper captured on paper.com and up in the search area put Gwen it'll bring up my page and I think I've got about four or five books on there and I've sold several uh, and then when you put a new item on there it'll show up right away on the whole front page there are numerous crafters on there that are selling everything besides these uh, junk journals and books and and etc so anyway uh, if you have any questions, please ask down below. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, there again, crafted, uh, captured on paper.com. And uh, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, this will be up here just any time. And there again, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow, I'm going to make a demo uh, on policy envelopes and um, the button string closure then later I'm going to do one on the folded tr uh, double pocket that was inspired by uh, Yvonne. Any questions please ask down below uh, thank you for joining me and I hope you like the little book and I'm going to be making some others uh, here I've got some new uh, ephemera and various things that I've ordered online I just got a whole new shipment of of embellishments from uh, Denise uh, on a tattered dream. Uh, so uh, anyway, stay tuned, and I shall I will be back uh, with the next journal and have the great rest of your day. Thank you so much.